What up, everybody? I'm Kaylee. And I'm Rocco. And we are Duo You Wonder. Yes, sir. I swear. Today, we're hitting you up with a bonus video. Tell them what bonus videos are, babe. They are simply viewer requested videos. Right. So, one of our viewers asked us to cover our scooter. So, that's what we're going to do for you today. Um, we're going to cover where we bought it, a little bit of information on it, and things you need to know about buying scooters here in Costa Rica. So Let let's go. dive on in. All right. The first on my list, I have my paper here so I don't lose track. <laughs> first on my list is where we bought it, which was... Honda. We bought a 2020 Honda Navi at the Honda dealership for about $2,000 after taxes. Yep. So I didn't think that was too bad. All right, so just a little bit of information on the scooter. It gets about 49 kilometers per liter or 115 miles per gallon. So that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. It costs us about four, three, four dollars to, to fill, fill it up. up. Yeah. So that's even better. And it's 110 cc. Yeah. So just a little information about the scooter. Not the most powerful, but it'll get you where you need to go. I swear it will. Right, right. It takes super gasoline and we both ride on it. So we double up on it and we don't have have any problems and we'll have like backpacks with like goods yep. and things on it so it can handle the weight next on the list what you need to drive here in Costa Rica and this is for a motor vehicle or a regular vehicle yep. what do you need babe tell them valid passport valid driver's license that's it some people will tell you that you need a Costa Rican driver's license but here's a small tidbit that they won't tell you you must be a resident of Costa Rica to even obtain a Costa Rican driver's license. So ignore all this. Right. So all you need is your passport and your driver's license. And we have even taken pictures of that on our phones and it doesn't matter. Yep. So you can just take a picture of the passport number, your driver's license, and don't forget to take a picture of your stamp so they know it's valid. Good to go. And that's it. Um, next on the list. Um, we have Marchamo and Reteve. What's Marchamo? Marchamo is simply like the smallest form of insurance you can get riding around the streets of Costa Rica. Right, right. So here in Costa Rica, everybody has to pay Marchamo or your vehicle's not valid. Yep, okay? By the end of December, the 31st of December is your last day to pay, but they give you a little leeway. And it's really easy to pay Marchamo too. Like you can just basically go to any of the banks you can go to a place called coop guanacaste which is where you pay like electric bill and yep. they have appliances like you can do a lot of things there so they make it really easy to pay so how much should you expect to pay for marchamo it depends on the make and model of your car we have found out that the more expensive the car is the more you are going to pay in marchamo so that 1989 looking real good right now ain't it? <laughs> you also need reteve here in costa rica and reteve is basically car inspection that's all it is so we do have videos covering reteve we take you there and show you the entire process and we show you what happens when we fail. So, <laughs> oh, let's check it out. Go check out that video. Um, when you buy a vehicle here in Costa Rica, it comes with Marchamo and Reteve. Yep. And they give you Reteve for the first two years. So, when you buy a vehicle new, you don't have to do car inspection for the first two, two years. years. And if your vehicle is under five years old, you only have to do Reteve every two years. Yep. If your vehicle is older than five years old, you have to go every year. Every year, Jack. So that's kind of how it works. It's pretty simple. Yep. Reteve is not hard. Marchamo is not hard to pay. It's just having to fork out the money. But that's your basic insurance. And I think it's pretty cool that it comes with insurance. So everybody has that basic package yep. when you're driving down here. All right, let's go. All right, next on the list is our experience driving on the scooter. Yep. What have you thought? He's the primary driver on the scooter, so I'm gonna let him take it away. It's all good, man. It's great on gas mileage. As we told you, um, one of our viewers wanted to know if it like slows down 
when two of us are on it. And no, it doesn't. I mean, of course, you're, you're not finna go up these big old steep hills on it or nothing. But as long as you on semi-flat land, you good, man. We love the scooter. We we out you. Yeah, and me as the passenger, I don't have a hard time on it. I love riding on the scooter. I yep. drive it by myself sometimes too, but Scooter's it's dope. great. Yep. Um, the only other thing about that is just to be really careful when you're driving down here in Costa Rica. You always want to wear your reflector. Sorry, guys, I have a bug. It's like flying at my they face. Own us. Costa Rica. <laughs> so I must smell good. I swear. <laughs> but always just. Use caution. Be careful, man. Use your reflectors and your helmet. When Be we careful. purchased the scooter, it came with a helmet, yep. and then we had to buy another one. I'm going to suggest getting a clear one because you can always wear your sunglasses under it. Yep. We got the tinted ones, and I wish we would have gotten clear ones, so just an extra tip. But the police will stop you if you don't have your helmet on, so get you. just use caution. And as always, you know, like, people drive kind of crazy here. So it is what it is. Use caution. That's what I'm going to say. Use caution when riding on your scooter because people drive a little nuts down here. Yep. It's so, all. basically, the scooter is a great money saver for gas. It, you can get around all the beaches just like fed in a hurry. It's all good. Plenty of upside. Just be careful if you decide to get a scooter slash motorcycle, baby, because you can get hurt down here. Yep, and the other, the only thing, I left one thing off the list, and that was the license plate, which isn't a big deal. Oh, yeah. All the vehicles, when you buy a vehicle down here, they come with license plates, so you don't yes. have to worry about going to this separate building and doing everything. Yep. You have to go see a lawyer to sign paperwork. It's super simple. It sounds like it's scary, but it's... It's so easy. Yeah, even if you buy a vehicle from someone else, that license plate stays with the car. Through the lifespan of the vehicle, the license plate stays on the car. Right, right. So it doesn't bounce around like it does in the United States where you take it off. The license plate will stay with the vehicle. Yep. And that's kind of why you have to pay Marchamo. Mm -hmm. If you don't pay Marchamo, you ain't right. They're gonna pull your license plate if you get pulled over. And then they're gonna take your car. If you continue driving without your license plate, they'll take your so car. So they got it set up. Very important to pay your Marchamo bill. Yep. So that's it. That's it. I don't have anything else on my list. Not a. If we, we hope... missed anything, let us know in the comments, baby. We ain't perfect. <laughs> We're not perfect. Yeah, for sure. If there's anything that we didn't cover that you wanna know, just pop a question in the comments and we'll be sure to cover it. And yeah. Let us know what you want to hear from us in the future because we will cover it like we're doing now. We got you. All right. I think that's it. That's it. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, and share our channel. Peace. Pura Vida. One love. Ciao.